Hey everyone, it's Judy here, and in today's video, we are going to be visiting Joe's Island, Galavera. Now, Joe's Island is pretty cool. It is Day of the Dead themed, so very different from any of the other islands I've been to before. Another thing I find really cool about his island is there's a lot of like cultural aspects that have been incorporated into it, which I think is amazing. And I'm definitely very excited to see it today. And we are going to be doing this tour interview style, which means that Joe will be joining me in a voice chat and talking about the island as we walk through it. So I really like that too. We can get a little bit of insight into the purpose and the creation of this beautiful island. It's super cute. Thank you. I love how you have all these tombstones with the skulls by them. Definitely fits yeah. the Day of the Dead theme. I got you some gifts so you can dress up before we get started. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Let's see, we can get into the outfit here. We have a candy skull mask. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. It matches so well. Thank you so much. No problem. And the umbrella, I love that, thank you. I, I live in November, so lots of the, you'll see the maple leaves kind of just floating around like this one right here on the plaza. Oh, and I see you have the sugar school flag as well. Yeah, uh, somebody from the Beltry forums helped me to design that, I'm pretty proud of it. It looks really nice. Thank you. So yeah, this is uh, the square. On the skeleton back there behind the flowers. Yeah, I wanted them to be featured in some, in some way in the beginning. There's one guy over here too. Love that. Yeah, they're pretty fun. I really hope they put some more stuff in for um, Day of the Dead. And uh, I would like to see, like, I remember in New Leaf, they had a little statuette with the mariachi guy, and I want that guy to come back. Oh yeah, that would be perfect. They might have some updates around, I don't know, even with Halloween, there might be some stuff that you could use. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, this is uh, just a nice square. It's uh, pretty much the same all the way around. A couple little design differences, but nothing major. And then... I have my first beach, which is uh, also very heavily Day of the Dead themed. Oh, Gulliver's there. I didn't even know that he was Oh my there, goodness. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's good thematically. I feel like Gulliver always washes up on the beaches. He's pretty, I mean, when you want him to be there, he's not there. But then <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm doing a tour right now. There's Gulliver. Um, and then, so yeah, this is like the beginning of uh, the southern Alfrenda beach. And uh, just like Day of the Dead, you have the... Uh, offering this where you put the picture of a loved one and the candle and um candles and whatever you know reminded you of them that's what our family did and offerings to them things they might have liked so i tried to use the villagers portraits in that i really like the way that you made it though like i could immediately recognize what it was yeah those uh the caskets the gold i think they're called the gold caskets and the gold chairs just flip them around and they're perfect for that but i'm really glad you can stack stuff on top of them yeah and so we'll go ahead and get going. When I found out you could terraform, I like went a little crazy with this area. <laughs> I <laughs> love it though. Waterfall. I noticed like the double waterfalls on both sides. So I was like, this is beautiful. Oh, did you have a chance to look at the map? Uh, uh, let pull me, it out really quick. I can pull it up just to see the villagers here. Oh my goodness. Whoa, there's a skull pond. Yeah, there's a skull pond, there's a giant skull lake, there's these little uh, suns and flowers, and there's a cross and a couple butterflies, too. I kind of went all in on that stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, good. that's amazing. Thank you. Hazel, Cole, Poncho, Stitches, Lucha, Lobo, Gloria, Poppy, Lopez, and Flora. I just need one more. I need Cole to move, and then I'll have my, my all of the ones that I want. Let's see, down here is the campsite. Yeah, uh, I wanted something, I, you know, I didn't do um, cottage core or fairy core, but this is like the closest I could get to it in this town and pull it off. And I think it turned out pretty well. I like it a lot. I like it. Yeah, it looks like just a little, little campsite in the woods. Very nice area. Yes, thank you. And then the fall colors are 
awesome. That's really what makes the town, I think. Yeah, and I think the very like bright, vibrant orange also goes with your theme very well. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Thank you. <laughs> Even the like orange flowers on the cliffs look so nice. They don't have marigolds in the game, so I had to find the thing that looked the most similar, I think, and that's what I came up with, was just all of the orange one flowers worked really well. So this is the like first neighborhood um, I have. I did some pretty cool patterning with just the, you know, Nintendo given um, yeah. terraform patterns, and they turned out really well. I did, I, I mean, they were supposed to be flowers, but everybody calls them suns, so it's whatever you see, they are. <laughs> like an like inkblot test? What do you perceive it as? <laughs> Exactly. What does this say about you? <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, as, as I started to get the villagers that I wanted, I kind of tried to put the stuff outside their house that I thought matched their personality. Like this one in the lower right is like Lucha, and it's got all like sports stuff because inside of his house is like a wrestling. And it's really cool. <laughs> you gave the villagers like their own personalities, but it still looks like cohesive, you know? Like it still just looks really nice. Oh, yeah. I definitely wanted like a vibe and aesthetic for sure. And then, yeah, now we're going into Calvary Lake, or Calvary Pond, rather. It was a lake at one point, but then I got a bigger water body, so I had to call that one a lake and this one a pond. And it's, yeah, it's skull-shaped. Pretty fun. You can hop on it. And, and more of the marigold petal, petal patterns. The, uh, the woman that designed the pink and purple tiles, she actually saw me on Twitter and like reached out to me and that was like a big deal for me because I've been like using her stuff for a couple games and to find the person that made it, yeah, it was pretty cool. Oh, that's so amazing. So you knew her from New Leaf? Yeah, I, well, I used her pattern in my town in New Leaf and then, you know, back then it wasn't, I don't think that we were as connected as we are in New Horizons. Like we came in and everybody like, you could find your group, your Discord, your Twitter people. Yeah, it was cool to connect with the person that, you know, stuff I use all the time. I really appreciate it. I think it's a really good pattern. Yeah, it definitely. Then, Looks nice. I love uh, this, this one. It's like a little park in, I don't know, like a little neighborhood. This looks so cool. I love these, like, bright blue stones, too. Yeah, those are they the... They match the butterflies. Uh, yeah, put the, I wanted to match the blues. I got the little uh, uh, Rosado stand for snow cones this is very popular amongst mexican kids love that in the little park it just it looks so nice it's such a nice little plaza area yeah i took some time I, i'm pretty happy with how it turned out and then it's like the you know abel's shopping center area it kind of reminds me of the main street from new leaf with the little bench at the end too I, that's what i was going for <laughs> i love that that little reference there uh, yeah, you, I wanted a little piece of New Leaf in it anyway. Oh my goodness, and is then, that like Godzilla coming into the town at the yeah, back there? This is, well, my boyfriend um, is from Mexico and I don't speak Spanish fluently, but, but he does. And I was like, what can I name this? To just say that it's kind of like tacky and weird. And so that's what it is. If you look at it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my four, uh, what was it, Force Perspective um, Godzilla attack? <laughs> I had to have it featured in my island. Looks really cool at sunset too. And then. This is my, like, Cancun-inspired pool area. Looks really cool at night. Like, everything lights up really cool. Oh, yeah, and I'd imagine the tiles would look really nice, too. They really pop. And then, I don't think it was designed for the floor light, but the floor lights fit perfectly in the center of the sun. Yeah, for sure. The tiles themselves look like they're glowing, so I can only imagine with lights glowing, too. I see you use some floor lights down here, too. Oh, they're everywhere. Like, I think I have somewhere in the ballpark of, like, 60 floor lights. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't blame you. And this is like my resort style beach. I love the Absolutely. music on your island too. Yeah, I tried to distance the skulls pretty evenly so that you wouldn't be in a place where you wouldn't hear them. I love the little sitting area on this rock here too. It looks so nice. Thank you. And then we got a little hangout spot. This is my favorite place for like my buddies to come and take pictures. That's really cute. It looks like you're all playing the game together too. 
Yeah, we had, I think it was like two or three weeks ago, I had a bunch of people come over and just like catch fish because it's November all the time on my island, so. A great way to get your seasonal bugs. If you missed one in November, just come by my place. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so that's pretty much the uh, western side of the island. It's more, yeah, residential, resortish. And now we will go to the crazy east side of the island. <laughs> oh my goodness, this path looks so nice. I, yeah, I love it. And it's are great. all these rows of flowers the teeth of the skull? Yes. <laughs> With different orange flowers. I love that. Yeah, we can, if you hop, yeah, yeah you can see the, the Olmec statue over there, which are pretty cool. They're like, in Mesoamerica, the kings, they would carve their heads into these giant statues and I think they found like 75 of them at this point and they're gigantic and weigh tons. Oh, I that's think it's so really cool, cool to see that featured in the game. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Okay, so this is my first like major um, ofrenda or altar, and it is, well, if you can figure it out, you win. Yeah, it's free to call them. It's her altar. Oh my goodness, wait, that's so cool. That, I also had a new leaf, and I, yeah, it's an awesome picture. Did you, did you customize it to put the picture on it? Uh, it's one of those wedding welcome signs. Yeah. And yeah, I used one of the QR codes from New Leaf and put that in there. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize you could put a design on it. That's so cool. Whoa. Yeah, it looks really nice. I like how it turned out a lot. And I did a contest like a month ago um, when I first updated my DA and I hid that crystal heart. And it took somebody 20 days to find it. And I gave them like 50 NMT, oh a bunch goodness. of uh, fall DIYs. That's Frida's heart. There's another one going on right now, but they found it in like eight hours. It was really discouraging. I had a bunch of crowns around and they found them super quick. That's a really cool way to make the dream address interactive, to have like little challenges. Yeah, I would like to find different ways to do it, maybe like riddles or something like that. Burying stuff, and these people, they're, they're too good at it. All right, and this is our next big, huge offering the altar, and if you get this one, you win. It's Selena. <laughs> That's so cool, so you made a whole little concert area. Yeah, it's just like reminding us of her, because I mean, the whole theme of the island is Day of the Dead. Just, you know, remembering the people that you remember, and I stay in her forever. I love that. Yeah, all the little decorations. What is it? The albums or the records that you get for the game? The icon when you drop them is the music notes, which looks really awesome on the altar, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's a really nice detail, too. Right, and I guess we can go into the market. I can see that you did the terraforming with the little, like, flower suns here, too. I did. I, I really like how it turned out. And again, you see more of the petals. And if you look at the stalls, that design is called the Pel Picado, which is the punch paper banners that you might see during during like different Mexican celebrations. And I think it turned out really well. Yeah. Oh, that's so and cool. I love all the details. Yeah, I mean, everything was, I wanted it to be really specific to, you know, Day of the Dead or the Mexican culture. So all of these things you would find at any, and what I modeled this one specifically after is in San Antonio where I'm from. Uh, we have this uh, yearly, um, I guess, party, which is sort of redundant because it's called Fiesta. Um, <laughs> and it's all these different places, but like stalls up and sell food and sell goods and sell art. And everybody kind of goes around and collects pins and pays too much money for tacos and, and that kind of stuff. And it's super fun. Uh, and I wanted it represented in that island. <laughs> so kind of like a cultural market. Exactly. That's really cool. I love all the outfits there too. Yeah, they're fun. Um, I'm sad that you can't just buy the sombreros. You have to get them from Gulliver because it takes a long time. Oh my goodness. This is just one of my cemeteries. Um, it's called Concordia. It's after this cemetery, this uh, big cemetery in El Paso that I remember when I was a kid. It's like right under the highway and it's just gigantic. And it's got this, um, I think it's called a Potter's Hill, which is basically where like indigenous people or uh, migrant people, you know, bury their dead um, next to a regular cemetery, and I just always remember seeing that, thinking it was impressive. Not like morbid and a morbid. See, Mexicans just think death differently than I think other people. <laughs> It's different in the sense that it's much more about like remembering them, you know, and like celebrating the memories. Exactly. Like, um, I think that a lot of uh, other cultures are starting, or other people are starting to understand that too. There's like not really anything morbid about it. We're not like, you know, 
doing anything weird or creepy. It's just like a time that you can tell stories about people. Like my brothers never met my great great grandparents, and I can tell them about my great great grandparents at this time of year, and you know remember stories that I've forgotten or hear stuff from my mom that I'd never heard before, and it gives a personality and it gives them life. Yeah, yeah. it's just this really awesome celebration. All right, cool. You're gonna need your ladder for the next part. All right, let's grab that. This is probably morbid, though. <laughs> Over here? Yeah. Uh, oh. This is a different altar. I can see you've made another one of the custom images here, too. Yeah, this one is um, Santa Muerte, and uh, she's like a folk saint, um, Saint Death. And she protects people that are kind of marginalized, and yeah, she's like a spooky dooky saint that <laughs> Mexican people pray to. She's like who you talk to if you want um, protection, um, if you do something that's like dangerous, or um, if somebody's trying to harm you to protect you or to harm them in exchange. Like she's that kind of a. She's um just one of our kooky things that we have in Mexico. I guess <laughs> I don't really know any um, other examples in other cultures. <laughs> this um, her altar is shaped like a skull too. If you look at the map. It does have some different textures though, like it looks really cool because the cliffs with the water around it gives it a couple different mm -hmm. shades of green. It was so frustrating the first couple times I uploaded because nobody went there and I didn't realize that you had to like leave things like ladders and shovels in your, in your dream to have people be able oh, to Oh no! Leave this is my museum. Um, I really kind of gave it an update this last update and added statues and finished uh, flushing out the flowers and or putting up some urns and stuff like that. I think it looks really nice. It does. It looks really good with like the staircase that's like, oh and the fountain with the water oh my goodness. I do like my water features, what can I say? I mean me too. <laughs> <laughs> they just make everything look so nice. And then I have a little mini beach over here. My boyfriend wants me to put up a gift shop. But I haven't decided if that's what I'm gonna do yet. For now there's like the giant fossil. It looks so cool before, like when I didn't have the trees down, you would just like see it coming over the horizon and it just looked like this giant monster coming out of the water, but oh my not goodness. as impressive anymore. <laughs> so this whole beach is Offrenda Beach, and it's my pretty much my newest addition. It's got all of the different villagers. All the the idea behind the so section good. is like the, um, you know, like when you have a cartridge that you don't play anymore, or like a card that doesn't work anymore or um you drop your ds or your switch in the tub like this is where those villagers go but you can never get them back oh my goodness like corrupted save file villagers Ex yeah exactly this is where they live now <laughs> oh yeah at least they have oh, that they're fine they like it <laughs> <laughs> they enjoy so life here there. i like the the like um frozen trees you use like customized in orange they look so good yeah, at night this area looks really cool. It's unfortunate that you can't have, I mean, multiple time zones for your island, but um, yeah, the the light up, everything that lights up over there looks really nice. Oh, and I think we're gonna move into my house, which is like pretty much the last area. I love these doors here too. Like you're walking into this new space. I think it really kind of divides it. Um, it looks like a completely different section of the island yeah and there's a cliffs on the wall here too so definitely has that feeling Ooh. Um, so when ofrenda is designed um it's like the underworld and then earth and then the sky and so the house is designed like that too so you get the earth right when you walk in it's like forest vibe it's very chill i like it a lot <laughs> yeah it looks really nice i can see like there's also those elements with like the orange color scheme but definitely get the earth vibe, especially from this like woods wallpaper. And then also, you know, some house elements with the little kitchen, the living space. Yeah, you get the vibe, but it's also livable. This is the most boring room that everybody has on the left. Oh, the school wallpaper though. I didn't know it was a glow in the dark wallpaper until I like had the lights turn off and walked in. I think I saw this wallpaper like several times too before I realized it glows in the dark. I love that dress. I think she did a really good job. That's my friend, um, uh, Pachika Monster on Twitter. She came to the island and then she just started like designing stuff. 
for me. Definitely a very talented designer. Yeah, she turns them out too. She's doing like really ornate, beautiful dresses like every week. And she says that it like relaxes her. <laughs> like, I wish I was that talented. <laughs> when you're so talented that making beautiful, amazing things is relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This is, this is cool. just like game room. I love the flooring on the wallpaper. It looks so futuristic. It looks like my weird tech dungeon or something like that. Yeah. But I think that if I lived in Animal Crossing, I would definitely hang out in here a lot. <laughs> same, same. And then if you go to the back room, um, so no, November 1st is Day of the Dead. And it's actually a couple days. It's November 1st and 2nd. Um, but the day before is obviously Halloween. So I thought it'd be cool to have um, Jack's birthday party in this room. Oh my goodness, I love that. Oh, and he has this like wheel here. Oh, this is so cool. Could you customize the birthday furniture to make it these colors? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you even have his poster on the wall. Hopefully we're going to be meeting him really soon as well. And this, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with it yet, but... Um, like is I said, this like the underworld? The <gasps> yeah. Oh my goodness. The statues I, fit too. I love the magma, um, what do you call it, wall and flooring. It just looks really neat. It really does. I love how it really looks like it's like oozing too. <laughs> the yeah, I can't wait till they start putting like Zelda stuff in the game because this, this is totally going to be like the Doggo's Cavern or like Goron Mountain or something like that. Yes. <laughs> I know that they're planning on adding the Mario furniture next year, so they'll probably add some more of the Nintendo stuff. Oh my god. in my room. Pretty power proud of it. Oh. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my goodness. I love the starry wallpaper here and like all the gold. It looks way less impressive with the lights on. <laughs> but there you go. I think it still looks nice though. Still, like just the whole design is really good. Oh, there's a giant scorpion here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to have my scorpion buddy there. I keep turning off all the string lights on accident. <laughs> <laughs> like, it keeps it going time. off too. Wait. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay, I've restored all of it. <laughs> yeah, but this one, um, I wanted like all of the gold, fe gold features. They don't have all of the gold furniture from the old games um, in it yet, but I really like the simple panels. I think those are really cool with that pattern, and the flooring match is great. And, it almost yeah. looks like gold columns at the back. That's really cool. Thank you. And then the stars looks like you're like in the rooftop, almost, like at the very, mm -hmm. very top. Yep, that's that sky element. I'm, I wanted that, definitely wanted that represented. And then you just, you know, put whatever you can on the wall to fill them up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much the house. I think the last place we'll go is, and I think that the sun is probably perfect at this time. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. It's like one of my favorite picture spots. All the flowers, too. And the sunset, come on. Glory, so <laughs> Honestly, and the leaves falling in the sky too, like this is so atmospheric. Yeah, it's got a, it's definitely got a mood to it. And if you walk it's like way. a little bit in front, you see the waterfalls too. Yeah, it's uh, like a hidden spot. Nobody really peeks it, but this is a really cool place. It actually goes all the way around. pretty much the island well it's definitely very beautiful thank you very much thank you so much for letting me come today and for like showing us around absolutely and like anybody that wants to come i encourage them to like check out the dream address i try to update it every month or so and i want to do a contest every week but it just depends on how the week goes <laughs> that's so fun though i love that and I'll probably do something big for Day of the Dead, because obviously, why wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> true, true. Time. <laughs> I love all the, like, cultural elements that you have, like, included in it. I just think everything looks so nice. And, like, it's so aesthetically beautiful everywhere. And then you also have, like, the whole backstory behind it, too. So I think that's really amazing. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was going for. I think um, there's not a ton of, like, 
Latinx or Mexican representation in video games that's not like, you know, luchador masks or giant mustaches or stuff like that. So I really wanted to try to like show people some of my culture that like is real and, and kind of interesting and that I think is beautiful. So. Yeah, I really like that. I think you've done an amazing job at that. All right, well, thank you for having us. Yes, thank you for coming. You have a great night. You too. Bye. Bye.